So on our about page, about us is stuck right up in the corner, right against the edge of the browser, and it doesn't look very good. So let's go address that before we add our nav bar. So inside of our layout, we're going to add div class equals container around our yield. And what that will do is wrap all of our content from our views in that container. And that's going to be um, something that will be set as a maximum width depending on your screen size and it adds a little bit of padding on the sides as well. So here you can see container. There's the blue portion, which is the container's width. It says, hey, if you're on this screen size, don't make it any wider than this. The padding on the left and the right is saying, basically, don't push it all the way up against the edge of the uh, browser because we want a little bit of space in there. And then the orange on the sides is actually centering that automatically on the page, which is kind of cool. So that is uh, the container from Bootstrap that we can use. But inside of this file, we want to add the nav bar. And so we want the main content to be set in maximum width, but our nav bar actually should go across the entire page. So we want to render the nav bar HTML here, which we can grab from Bootstrap. And if you look up content or components and you go to nav bar, you can find a bunch of examples for this. This one has drop downs, it has a search box, it has disabled links as examples. There are ones with icons. You can grab and mix and match any of these that you want. So we're gonna do a very simple one and we're gonna just grab, for example, um, we'll grab this one here and we can copy this HTML and paste it into our view. But if we do that, this starts to get pretty messy and there's quite a bit of HTML in there. And so instead of pasting this directly into our layout, we can actually render another view inside of our layout. So we're gonna do that by saying render in an ERB tag and we'll say partial shared slash nav bar. And the reason it's called partial is because it's not a full template, we are going to um, render a portion of the page and a partial is what that is called in Rails. And that will look inside of app views for a folder called shared. And inside of shared, it will look for an underscore navbar.html.erb. And this is a partial, which means it needs to start with an underscore. And that separates those out from regular templates like our index.html and uh, makes them visually different for you to determine which one's a partial and which one is not. So if we paste that in, what we'll see refreshing our page is that we now have that nav bar and it goes across the entire browser. So we now have a functional nav bar in our app, but these links don't really go anywhere and it would be nice if we could actually make them functional. So in HTML, you can set the href to a slash whatever you want your route to be. So we can go in here and say, for example, let's change features to slash about and call it about. Let's get rid of the pricing link and the we'll leave the home link in here, but we'll have slash as our route. So if we refresh now, we can click on about. It will take us to slash about. If we click on home, it will take us to the home page. Same with the nav bar. If we go to about and click on nav bar, it is going to take us to home, our root route. 